Hi everyone, um, this is my first video um, in a couple of weeks and I apologise about that. I have recently moved to my new apartment or flat if you're in the UK, so I've been extremely busy. Okay, so to get started again, I'm going to simply record a very, very short video. So, okay, so what we have is I have got a Sense OS 7 virtual machine up and running. Um, and on this virtual machine, we have 35 gig allocated to its hard disk, um, which is a little bit small. So I was thinking of maybe what we could do is record a video to show you how to increase the size of this disk. Okay, so this is the VM uh, when we're when looking at it for its cockpit interface. And we can also look at the VM itself through VirtualBox. So if I load up VirtualBox, it shows the VM is up and running. And then we can go directly into its console as follows. Okay, so I'm on the console. This is the terminal on the VM or the virtual machine. Okay, we will minimize the terminal. And this is the actual desktop of my CentOS 7 VM. Okay, so what we need to do is, okay, so because I'm running this as Oracle VirtualBox, I actually will need to shut down the VM, then add another disk to it. So what I will do is I'll go to the VirtualBox manager, okay, here. Okay, now if you go to settings, you'll see, we'll just wait for the settings to load up, go to storage. You'll see the options here at the bottom are greyed out. So we actually do need to shut this VM down. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the VM itself. Go into the console and type in the following. I'm just going to clear that screen. Take it to the top and type in system CTL space power off. And that will proceed to shut down the VM. Okay, now the VM's now shut down. Okay, so what we can do is we can go ahead and add another hard disk as follows. So if we go to the controller itself, click on this third icon here at the bottom, add hard disk. Okay, then we create, we create it here. Okay, let's have a look. Sorry, let's try that again. Sorry, so I'm just going to try again. We do, we'll do add hard disk here. Okay, then we click on create here. Apologies. Okay, so for the hard disk file type, we're going to select VDI or VirtualBox disk image. Then click on next. I'm going to choose dynamic allocation because for the purposes of this video, we're just going to use dynamic, alloc al dynamic allocated disks. So click on next to continue. I'm going to choose the file location and size to be def well the file location to be default. As for the size itself, I'm going to create a virtual disk file of let's say 75 gig. Because it's dynamically allocated, it won't allocate that amount of space all at once. So click on create. Okay, then choose that and click on OK to continue. Okay. That's done. And now we're going to restart the virtual machine or VM as follows. So just waiting for it to restart. We'll get this information box here to say the virtual machine will now switch to full screen mode. So we're going to click on switch. And we're just waiting for it to start up now. OK, I've applied a few updates recently. So that's why you can see many options there. And we're just waiting for the VM to start again. Okay, so now that now we're presented with the login screen, I'm going to close this message at the top. I'm going to log in as my user account, which is Amit. Put in my password. Okay, it's now started up. I'm going to load up the terminal. Okay, there's the terminal. 
and I'm just going to increase the size of the text here as follows. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to type in df space minus h, and that will show the disk usage here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the disk usage. And on this line, you can see we've got a 36 gig space disk, and we've got 31 gig free. So this is actually a logical volume. So it's not actually a physical disk. This is a logical volume. A logical volume could be made up of many different physical disks and they can be represented as one logical disk or logical volume within Linux. So what we what we're going to do next is to go into cockpit. Okay, so this is the cockpit interface and this is the IP address of my virtual machine. As you can see, we've been disconnected because we re rebooted the VM. So I'm just going to reconnect as follows. Then I'm going to log back in as my user account, which is Amit. Then I'll put in my password. Okay, now in previous videos, I've been using the root account to, do, to, to carry out admin work. Usual best practice is, is to try to avoid using the root account as much as possible and only use it if you're carrying out a quite a lot of configuration work in one piece but if you're just doing minor bits of configuration like we are doing today then you can get get by by using a, a non-root account that has sudo access okay so basically what sudo access means is you can run admin account run admin commands using your non-root accounts and i'll create another video in future to explain that in more detail okay so in the cockpit interface, we are in the storage screen. In the middle, you can see the disk that we looked at earlier. Okay, if I go back on the right hand side, you can see the virtual, you can actually see the physical disks. In this case, these are virtual disks because they're virtual box hard disks. So here's the original one, and here's the one we created a few minutes ago. Okie dokie, right. So what we need to do is go to volume groups on the right hand side. Okay. And then we go to physical volumes on the right hand side here. Then simply choose the new virtual box hard disk or VBOX hard disk here and then click on add. Okay, so that's been added to the logical volume, which is here. And now we can grow it. So if we grow it from 35 gig to the maximum, it will allow us to do that. So before we do that, we can check on the size. So if we go back to storage, we can see here it's 35 gig in total and 4.29 gig has been used up. And we can verify that by looking at the same information on the command line, which is df space minus h. And you can see that information here as follows. Right, so we're going to go back to cockpit, click on this logical volume here, maximize that, click on grow, then move it all the way up to the right there, and the new size will be 110 gigabytes. So click on grow. Okay, we'll wait for that to finish, go back to storage, and as you can see, the size has now been increased to 110 gigabytes. And we can look at the same information again on the command line as follows. And here you can see the new space as follows. And you can compare it to the previous, to how it was previously before we apply this change. Okay, so that's it really. That I've, I've basically covered what I needed to needed to in this video. So thank you very much for your time. Please click on like if you like this video. Um, also, please feel free to comment. Also, please subscribe to my channel should you wish to see further videos from myself. And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell should you wish to be notified when I upload further videos in the future. And thank you very much for your time.